What's up guys? So today we're going to be doing a short video talking about No Man's Sky inventory system and how you should be organizing it. In each section, exosuit, starship, and multi-tool, there are four different categories. Health, protection, stamina, utilities, weapons, health, scan, hyperdrive, laser, projectile, grenade, and scan. Now the idea here is if you install a new technology, you want to install it next to a technology in the same category. So here we have health, health, and health. And you see the blue borders around them? That means that they give themselves a bonus. Now right here you don't actually really see a huge bonus, but if I go over to multi-tool, which is a great example of how you should organize your inventory, you'll notice that these five are connected. So over here we have a huge bonus for projectile. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna plan ahead. When you get your items, sometimes you get unlucky like I did on Starship, but like these guys are up here and I didn't wanna move them down here. It would've cost a lot and like I just, I didn't feel like rearranging them. I thought I was gonna buy a new Starship pretty soon. So I didn't actually do it. And I think that sometimes it's worth it to uh, dismantle and then move them. And sometimes you're kind of put in a weird situation where I can't dismantle Photon Cannon and I can't dismantle Deflector Shield. So I can't even connect anything to the shield because of this situation. So it's unfortunate, got unlucky with this uh, setup. But what you want to do is, let's say you want to set all these things up. You want to make sure that the technology that is the most expensive, make sure to have it on the walls. That way in the middle, if you want to switch, let's say I want to switch out this impact for something in the beam category. It's not that bad to dismantle it and then uh, put something else there. But if it's this one, I needed five aquaspheres to actually create this and it was annoying to get so I wouldn't want to do that again unless I upgraded my gun. So that's why it's best to try and set it up so that you know okay these are going to be here and then in the middle maybe I'll switch it out if I want. Just don't want to put the big one in the middle where if you get like if you put it here and then you want to switch out the other one that is a lower level you're not going to waste valuable resources. One other thing to keep in mind when you're upgrading your multi-tool to another multi-tool with more slots, make sure to dismantle everything in the one that you are getting rid of before trading it over. Go into your uh, inventory and dismantle them all, assuming you want to switch it out for the new one that you have the option to take. So you can compare, you see, oh, the next one has, let's say, you know, 15 or 20 slots. You're like, yo, I'm down go into here, dismantle them, and then go back into the trade and compare and then switch out your multi-tool. That way you're gonna get at least half, um, I think it's about half of your resources back to, to work on creating them on the next one because some of them have some pretty rare materials. So that's pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to talk about in terms of how to set up the inventory. I think it's not that many people know that and it's a good thing to know and it would definitely help. And I think later levels, it'll also help even more to be prepared on how to set up your newest item. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and I will see you in the next live stream.